commissioned by the Spirit to be a ferment in the society for the kingdom of God, especially the conformandi of our parish, that the Spirit's gift of fortitude may make them strong friends of Christ, able to stand up for the demands of justice, life, and peace. We pray to the Lord. For the peoples of the world who do not know God, that the Spirit of truth proclaimed to every nation may indeed renew the face of the earth. We pray to the Lord. For all who are experiencing new stirrings in their lives, calls to change and growth and movements of repentance, that they may not quench or sadden the loving spirit who awakens within them. We pray to the Lord. That the Spirit may be an anointing of comfort to the sorrowful, healing to the sick, calm to the anxious, forgiveness to the sinners, and refreshment to all of us, all on our pilgrim way. We pray to the Lord. For missionaries, our military, police officers, firefighters, first responders, the sick and elderly, for our parish generous donors of Sunday Collection, PSA, the success of the capital campaign, and the special intentions of Gilda Reyes, we pray to the Lord. For our faithful departed, that the Lord may send forth his spirit into their souls, so that they may be placed in eternal life, especially Carlos de Guzman and the Conti family. We pray to the Lord. Father of all powerful, receive this prayer from a people made one by the Holy Spirit, who always dwells within us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. As promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and righteously lead us into our truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your heart. Up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestow the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together many languages of the earth in profession of one faith. And so, we praise you, Lord, with all the angels in the song of joy. So that from the rising of the sun to setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. 
upon the night he was betrayed. He himself took bread, gave a few thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave a new thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. resurrection, ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. We pray, look upon the relation of your church, recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May Christ make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Cecilia and all the saints on whose constant intersection in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope. Kevin, our bishop, his assistants, Bishop Timothy and Bishop Khan, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, Gather to yourself all children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for heaven and terror.
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us suffer each other Christ. O oh God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, save God, we pray, the grace you have given us, that the gifts of the Holy Spirit pour out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. June 1919, we have a special Mass at 6 p.m. to mark the 62nd anniversary of the parish. 62nd anniversary. And then after that, 7 p.m., we go into a, a 
uh, yard for the dessert, international dessert, and then we have the join at 8 p.m. No need to be present because we bring the tickets on the bullet and everything. So once again, let's have to one another think about contemplate the person that you think <laughs> that you may have us. God loves you and so do I. We conclude the season of Easter to turn to one another and say that beautiful God loves you so grand. God loves you so much. Please stand. After each prayer, please respond Amen. The Lord be with you. Please bow your head for a special blessing. May God, the Father of light, who was pleased to enlighten the disciples' minds by the outpouring of the Spirit, the Paraclet, grant you gladness by His blessing and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit. Amen. May the wondrous flame that appear above the apostles powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil and pervade them with its purifying light. Amen. And may God, who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in that same spirit, and by believing, may you journey from hope to clear vision. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go with the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Together.